What's up everybody, Mike with Saltwater Bushcraft here. Today I'm getting ready to take the boat out. Getting my gear all ready to go right now. Uh, just check the oil and put some gas in the motor. And I'm about to go grab the, the boat right now and I'm gonna carry it down to the water. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys down there. All right. pretty high right now that's good I timed this so I would be able to hang out and fish some of this high falling tide and it's really cool because the uh, the dock that I launch out of is right here you know basically in my backyard so it's nothing to take this thing out these bars too that's one I like and then whiskey river is pretty cool and if you come across just to the left of that big casino boat over there is Hooters and you can pull up on your boat and go and have lunch at Hooters people are having lunch over there so we're gonna hit this pass over here and uh, make my way out there really one of the only places that I know of on this stretch of river where you can get fuel and stop and get bait and ice and everything so and he's got drive dock availability there so 
that's good. As you can see, we're gonna keep moving. Okay, so what we have now is I'm just cruising around. I'm trying to get back up in this backwater a little bit here, just off the side of the pass, as you can see. That's the pass out there off my bow. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up in these mangroves here and see if we can't pick up maybe a red or two. And uh, I got a little uh, soft plastic swim bait on. I'm gonna use one of these Zoom or Storm swim baits. And I've had luck with them in the past and I caught a couple reds. So it's gonna get pretty shallow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna put this thing on tripod and I'll get back with you guys in a second after I get situated. All right. It's beautiful out and it's high tide. All right. We're back up here in this backwater a little bit. And uh, what we're using is we're using the Bass Pro Shops XPS saltwater swim bait. Um, I like to use the Zoom or the Storm, and these are just a fraction of the price, the Bass Pro Shops brand. So, I'm going to fish some of these mangroves in here and see if I can't pick up a red or a snook around here. really pretty out here too today hot but Shit. since we're back up in these uh, mangroves and I'm trying to fish I'm trying to be as stealthy as I can so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the paddle and I uh, raise the motor So I can move around back here silently. I'm gonna stand up and fish this in front. I'm gonna show you what I'm trying to fish real quick. I'm trying to stand up and fish all this in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back around and I'm going to see if I can fish the back side of this. There's something over there. I don't know what it is. It might just be a needlefish. All right, I came around the corner and there's some pretty good looking mangrove spots in here. Top water would be friggin' awesome back here. I would love that. I'm gonna fish this this wall of mangroves. I'll show you. I'm gonna fish this all the way down.
down south the fishery is way better than up here in my opinion I've spent more time searching for more spots than I have actually catching any fish the only quality fish I've caught in here was a uh, 38 and 3 quarter inch snook which I'll uh, include a picture so you can see it and I caught that about three and a half months ago at about 11.30 at night in a falling high tide with a long A bomber swim bait about five, five and a half inches and he inhaled it well it looks like we're going to be moving and another thing is is um we have a catch and release ban on all the recreational fishery so you really can't keep anything right now at all until next year I believe they're going to lift it alright well I'm going to motor up and uh, find a different spot So where we're going is that there's an island way out there. You really can't see it that well yet. But we're going to go pull up on that island and hang out for a little bit. And then I'll fish this on the way back in. you got to be careful in here because people don't understand that there's oyster bars. And you have these sticks like that that mark oyster bars and shoals and stuff so you got to pay attention luckily I have a really small shallow drafting boat so all right well that's where we're going so let's get over there this is what I have to deal with. Coming up on that island up there. and fish some of this flat here and I should be able to pull some sea trout although we can't keep them it's still fun to catch favorite camping spots out here too.
when I pull up, I'm going to have to put the camera down because I got to be able to lift the motor with my hand to get it up over the sand. You'll see. Water's clear. Water is so clear. It's tricky to get it up on this sand. So I gotta run the boat up there. I gotta tilt the motor up by hand so it doesn't hit the bottom. Right up in here. Well, here we are after pulling up. We go explore the island, take you guys around. I love camping here. I'll show you where I camp. Check this out. So you go up under these trees, right? And we're up under the trees. And this is where I like to usually set up a tent, one here and then on the other side of that tree, another one. And people leave their trash out here as usual. But somebody had built this, a local guy comes out here and he built this uh, little fire cook pit with some concrete and some rocks, big pieces of lime rock here. You can also pull up your boat in this protected little alcove here. So there's plenty of places so you don't have to park windward. You're able to pull up leeward. Come back through the campsite and you can get, see, there's a boat. Come up through here. Oh my. Another campsite right here, you can put a tent. people with their boat right there. Pretty cool. And if you come back over here, here's the fire pit right here for that other campsite I just showed you. Um, you can go back through over here. Um, there's some other paths over there. I really don't want to go on that side of the island over there um, towards land. That would be the, the uh, easterly side of the island. Right now, I'm sticking more to the, <coughs> the southwest side of the island. Because there's people over there and a lot of people pull up and hang out and swim over there and stuff. I'm over here secluded by myself. So it's pretty cool. Um, check these out. You got the uh, houses, the stilt houses out there. One, two, three down there. And then if you come back over here, there's another one. But it's pretty cool that those still exist. I'm sure they were passed down you know, generations and generations of ownership for those stilt houses. Because you can't just build one or buy one. See, there's another one over there. Another one over there. A few down there. 
check that out. Really cool. All right, so let's go back over here. So yeah, this is called Derny Key. And uh, I'll show you the sign real quick. Because the sign just simplifies it so I don't even have to explain it. Come on through here. Signs right over here. This is facing the channel as well, so when you're coming by in the channel on your boat, you'll be able to see this from the channel coming in. There you go. Derny Key. State of Florida. Property of the people for our birds, to protect our birds. So, this is for us to enjoy. You know, in all hopes that people would be responsible and not trash this place and abuse it. But they do. So I like to do my part and clean up a little bit. So before I leave, that's what I'll end up doing. to do some cleaning up here a little bit before I leave all right so I uh, picked up some bottles and some cans and a couple wrappers that I found and I uh, did my part so I'm gonna cast off and uh, I think we'll go hop out on the flat and see if we can pick up a couple um, sea trout for you guys I couldn't record in uh, Get set off there because it's just too much. I had to make sure my prop didn't hit the bottom or anything like that. So here we are. I'm pulling us out on the flat. I tied up before uh, before I just took off there. I tied up a uh, Cajun Thunder popping cork above this soft plastic I got. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it up on all over this flat here and pop it, and it should produce a couple uh, trout. Okay, here's some patchy bottom. I'm gonna stop here. This looks good. So, okay, what we got here is this Cajun Thunder popping cork above this soft plastic. And what this does is this will bring the trout up and have them. All right, so let's give it a cast. Give it a few pops. fish here. Tired of the grass on the hook. The crazy thing is, is there's fish out here. I mean, I just had a hit before. It's not that I suck at fishing. I know I don't. Trust me.
patchy and sandy spots. What the heck is that? All right, so we're gonna get off this flat here and uh, I guess make a run inshore and see what else we can find. Sucks, I thought we were gonna catch some trout out here. I don't know, better luck next time I guess. So we're back fishing the mangroves. Came in off that flat. We'll cast around up in here a little bit. Might pick a cruising red up. really pretty back here. Quiet. So I'm gonna fish this here, little point. I'm gonna fish this little point here for a second. Well, I reckon it's late. I only had a couple strikes and uh, didn't produce any fish. A little bit of a bummer, but it's nice to be out here. I'd rather be out here than sitting and loafing around the house today. Let's drop motor and... Well, I had to throw some gas in the motor real quick. So I'm gonna spin us around here with the... with the ur. Spin us around. I'm gonna fire us up.
stuck. It's a pretty fun day today. Glad I got to come out today. My knees are sunburned. Oh boy. Good night, those things are sunburned. Right around this corner is the dock. It's a pretty house for sale. Well guys, this is the end of the road. I appreciate you guys for watching. This was just a little day outing. So, there'll be more to come. I'll catch up to you after I get this thing tied up up here at the dock and uh, start unloading and I'll, I'll get back to you. Well, here we are <laughs> at the dock. So I pulled up into the mangroves here in the seawall and I got to get out and unload this thing. So. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. We got the boat out of the water. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, this was just a, like I said, a, a middle of the week outing. I just had some time on my hands, so I decided to take the boat out today, and I'm glad I did. It was a really nice day to do this. Um, you guys shoot on over and, uh, See my Instagram page, it's saltwater.bushcraft. Also, hit subscribe, hit the like, and also hit the uh, alert for notifications. So when I launch anything new, you guys will have uh, first access to that stuff. So, man, I really appreciate you guys coming along today, man. I had so much fun. So, all right, let's get this stuff cleaned up. Catch up with you guys later.